Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Along with airplanes, helicopters are one of the world's most recognized and used types of aircraft. Thanks to their vertical takeoff and landing and ease of maneuvering at low speeds, their versatility has allowed them to be a crucial element for different areas and industries. Of these aircraft, there are a few that stand out for their design, usefulness, and historical value. But it is possible to say that of this group, the MIL MI-26 could be at the top. This aircraft, designed for civil and military use, is renowned as one of the largest and most powerful helicopters ever produced. It was developed in the Soviet Union in the 70s to fulfill the government's need for a massive, heavy-lift helicopter to use in civil, industrial, and military operations, especially in remote or undeveloped areas. This helicopter has been used widely across various missions, including military transport, emergency evacuations, firefighting, and construction. Routine inspections include servicing and repairs in the exterior components of the aircraft, usually in the airframe, landing gear, and panel surfaces. Scheduled maintenance happens at specific flight hour intervals, such as 100, 500, and 1,000 hours. Components like the rotor blades, transmission, and hydraulic systems are thoroughly inspected, lubricated, and, if necessary, replaced to prevent potential failures. With these checks and maintenance, the aircraft is ready to begin the operations assigned to it and exhibit its characteristics. Of them, the most notable is its loading capacity and space in its cargo hold. This area measures approximately 39 feet in length, 10.5 feet in width, and 9.8 feet in height. This provides a volume of about 3,884 cubic feet, allowing it to transport up to 44,000 pounds of cargo inside the helicopter. In recently upgraded versions like the MI-26T2, the cockpit is equipped with a digital avionics suite and enhanced equipment like automatic flight control systems or advanced communication systems for coordination with ground personnel and other aircraft. From the cockpit, the crew members coordinate with the team on the track to begin the starting process. During this step, the onboard auxiliary power unit is activated to provide power for the helicopter's systems, including avionics, navigation, and hydraulic systems. After this, the two ZMKB Progress turboshaft engines of the aircraft are started sequentially, while the flight engineers monitor the system parameters.
Once they are running and the checks are complete, the crew adjusts the throttle to achieve the necessary power for takeoff and flight. These same systems are used at the time of landing to stabilize and position the aircraft on the heliports. As the collective pitch decreases, the lift is reduced, allowing the MI-26 to settle onto the landing gear. All of these capabilities have allowed this helicopter to be useful to many nations, including Belarus, which uses them as powerful tools in rescue operations. The advantages of heavy transport helicopters have driven the development of different models with similar concepts. In recent decades, the U.S. Marine Corps began a program to modernize its heavy lift capabilities. This resulted in replacing the aging CH-53E models with a newly developed model called the CH-53K. This helicopter made its first flight in October 2015, and the first unit was delivered to the USMC in May 2018. After extensive testing, including aerial refueling and sea trials, full-scale deliveries began, with the Marine Corps planning to acquire 200 CH-53K helicopters in total. Its development included the use of three General Electric T408 turboshaft engines, which can deliver more than 7,300 shaft horsepower each. Compared to its predecessor, the new model can achieve 57% more power and 18% greater fuel efficiency. Like other aircraft in its category, the CH-53K must carry out constant maintenance work. <laughs> These are carried out based on daily aircraft inspections, implemented before and after a flight. With this, the ground team determines the systems that require repair or replacement during scheduled maintenance. CH-53K has a lower maintenance ratio compared to the CH-53E, aiming for around two hours of maintenance per flight hour, a significant reduction from the CH-53E's higher ratio. In addition to its ease of maintenance, the development of this aircraft has brought better performance in cargo and flight capabilities compared to other models. avionics and diagnostic systems of the aircraft allow the crew to get real-time feedback on the helicopter's systems. Once in the air, the helicopter can showcase its lifting capabilities with its large internal cargo area that can hold larger items, including 463L pallets and high-mobility multi-purpose wheeled vehicles. In the case of handling an external load, the aircraft features a triple external cargo hook system that allows it to lift multiple loads independently.
which is particularly useful in scenarios requiring very cargo drop-offs. Although the advances and designs developed for the CH-53K are brought directly from the CH-53E, this aircraft line was inspired by another iconic helicopter in the U.S. forces, the CH-47 Chinook. This aircraft is a legendary tandem rotor transport helicopter, developed by Boeing and created in 1962. Since its introduction, it has been a backbone for the U.S. Army and several other countries, praised for its versatility. Thanks to its design, it has excellent lift capabilities, which makes it ideal for transporting troops, equipment, and supplies directly. For this reason, it has lasted in service for so long, being in several important conflicts, from Vietnam to Iraq and Afghanistan. Its design, longevity, and adaptability make it one of the U.S. Army's longest-serving aircraft, with plans to remain operational until 2060. Being an aircraft of great importance for the military forces, and with a particular design, constant training exercises must be carried out so that pilots know how to take advantage of the versatility of the CH-47. This utility comes from the helicopter's ability to land on various terrain, including soft or uneven ground, Its dual main rotor setup offers stable handling, even on steep or rugged terrain, making it ideal for difficult battlefield or rescue missions. Because of this, pilots must become accustomed to the tandem rotor system every time the aircraft is used, including pre-flight and takeoff processes. In this case, similar steps to other helicopters must be followed, but taking into account the extra rear rotor, which, once mastered, the crew can achieve smooth maneuvering. These capabilities have allowed it to be a constant tool during extraction operations in various terrains. Its large cabin can hold up to 55 soldiers, allowing it to extract large groups at once. In cases of medical evacuation, it can also be configured with the necessary medical equipment to stabilize injured personnel during transport. This design also makes it easy for people to enter with ease, no matter the weather conditions where the operation occurs, including polar regions with a lot of snow. In other cases, the helicopter is used as a launching platform in aquatic areas for groups of launches using a technique called helocasting. During a helicast, the CH-47 hovers low over the water, with the team jumping or diving to swim to their final destination. The development of these aircraft has demonstrated their versatility in different terrains and conditions.
Their looting capacities and the instruments used by the crew allow them to coordinate and act more efficiently in the missions in which they are deployed. Better optimizations of these models are increasingly being observed, and they seek to improve their already impressive characteristics further. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.